At Crafty Hackers, we've got a bunch of ways to breathe new life into your recycled objects. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to Crafty Hackers to be the first to see our newest DIY projects and hacks. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Here we go! Flower Pot Got an old soda or water bottle? Don't toss it out. We're going to turn it into an adorable flower pot. Here's how. Mark a line across the bottom of the bottom and draw on some cat ears. Use a box cutter to cut along the line. When you get to the cat ears, use some scissors to cut around them. Then you can get a precise cut of the ear shape. Take your time on this part or you'll end up with a one-eared cat pot. Next, grab a can of matte finish spray paint in your favorite color. Put on some latex gloves and spray paint your pot. Feel free to follow these guidelines or do your own interpretation. Now, fill your pot with garden rocks. Add a flower or plant and enjoy your new cat pot. Can you believe this used to be a soda bottle? First aid kit. For this, grab an old juice or detergent jug. Cut off the top, handle, and side of the jug. Mark lines like this around the jug. Next, take a pair of scissors and cut along your marks. When you're done, it should look like this. Fold the sides down and cut slits in the folds to help it fold down. Fold the top down and cut off any extra plastic. Now you're going to need a strip of Velcro and a hot glue gun. Glue the Velcro on the flap you made like this then line it up and glue the other strip of Velcro to the other side. On a piece of red adhesive paper, draw the first aid symbol. Cut it out and spray the back to activate the glue. Stick it on top of your kit. Now you've got a place to store all your first aid items like bandages and ointments. Your old jug now has a new purpose. Candy Apple Purse. For this fun and tasty craft, grab another old water or soda bottle. Cut the bottom off with a box cutter. Do the same with the bottom of another bottle so you have two bottoms. Now take some red spray paint and spray the two halves. If you're planning on putting candy inside, you should use non-toxic paint for the inside of your purse. On a piece of green construction paper, draw a leaf. Make sure to draw the stem for the leaf too. Cut it out, now take a green straw and cut off a couple of inches. Hot glue the stem of your leaf to the piece of green straw. Next, you'll need a red zipper that's the same length as the circumference of your purse. Apply hot glue to the outside of the purse and glue one half of the zipper. Do the same with the other side of your purse. When the glue dries, you'll be able to zip it closed. Now glue the stem you made to the top. Remember when this was two soda bottles? Put anything you want inside. Candle holders. Got a bunch of spare caps from bottles and containers? Here's a way to put them to good use. Use your hot glue gun to glue them together like this. It's a bottle cap tower. Use a metal lid for the top of your tower because they can handle the heat from a candle better. Grab some spray paint and your latex gloves and spray away. Bag clips. Need an easy way to seal up your snack bags? Try this. Save two soda bottles and use an X-Acto knife to cut the tops off the bottles. Remove your lid, now get your snack bag and feed the top through the opening of the bottle top. Fan the bag out over the top and screw the lid back on. Easy peasy! 
You can do the same with the second clip you made. Toss them in your bag and go! Bag dispenser. Bet you thought we were out of ideas for old soda bottles, didn't you? Well, here's another creative idea. Use an X-Acto knife to cut the top off the bottle. Cut the bottle in half, then cut off the middle section. Now the top half should be able to fit over the bottom half. Use sandpaper to smooth the edge of the bottle. Put painter's tape around the middle of the bottle, tape some protective paper on the top half, then spray paint with your favorite color spray paint. Spray the top section of the bottles as well. Next, get some adhesive chalkboard paper and draw out a circle or oval shape on the back. Cut it out, write the word bags with chalk or chalk pen. Once the paint is dry, remove the painter's tape. Stick your label onto the bottle, Fold up your bags and pull one out of it to feed it through the opening of your bag dispenser. Stuff the bags into the dispenser and put the lid on. Feed the bag through the opening, stick it to your wall, and you'll always have your bags accessible and handy. String light lamp. You guessed it, another use for a soda bottle. Get some parchment paper, then cut the top off your bottle. Measure the length of the bottle on your parchment paper, rolling it up to get the same width at the same time. Cut it out, now time to add some decoration. Use pieces of lace, laying them on your parchment paper. Get some metallic spray paint, spray over the lace onto the paper. When you take off the lace, you'll have a pretty design on your paper. Now use a glue stick to glue the paper onto the bottle. Here come the string lights. Get the kind with a battery pack so you can put the lantern anywhere you want. Turn the string lights on and put them in the bottle battery pack first. Now you've got a gorgeous lantern from trash to treasure. Coaster, got a bunch more of those bottle caps? Make coasters out of them. Here's how. Set them up in a design that you want and hot glue them together like this. Get your spray paint and spray the coaster. One of a kind coasters. Toothbrush holder. Remember that jug we cut up for the first aid kit? Don't throw it away. We've got another great use for the remaining plastic. Cut off the side and place a few bottle caps on it. Measure around the bottle caps and mark it. Cut it out. Measure enough space between the bottle caps for your toothbrushes to fit in. Mark the spots for the bottle caps. Hot glue the caps into place. Use adhesive strips to hang it up on your wall or medicine cabinet. Dust pan. Here's another use for an old plastic jug. Use a marker to trace your design around the handle and down the sides. Use a box cutter to cut along your lines. Cut the edge to make the end of your dustpan smooth. Now you've got a DIY dustpan. Knitting case. Here's another soda bottle hack. Cut the bottom section of the bottle off and cut the top section off too. They should fit together like this. Grab a zipper that fits around the bottle, hot glue around the outside of the bottom section and attach one half of your zipper. Glue the 
other half of your zipper to the top section of your bottle. Unzip your container and add the yarn inside. Feed the end of the yarn through the opening. Zip it up and apply your label. When you want to change the yarns, just unzip your container and switch it out. That was easy, right? We hope you enjoyed these crafts as much as we did. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. We'll see you next time.